Hello guys, if you're having trouble with Diablo 4's Cathedral of Light, I'm about to show you the fastest way to beat it. Now this dungeon opens up after you've completed the campaign, the short epilogue after the campaign, and also collected 10 Grim Favours for the Tree of Whispers. After all this is done, you can go to the Cathedral of Light, and by completing it on World Tier 2, will you unlock World Tier 3? The trouble is, completing the Cathedral of Light on World Tier 2 is pretty hard, and it's causing a lot of problems for many, many players. My included but I'm here to say you can do it I believe in you you just need to do all the things I'm about to say and by the way guys if you find these videos useful then please consider supporting this channel on patreon I'm a solo creator and I put a lot of time into each video so your donations will massively help keep the channel going sponsor the channel over at patreon.com forward slash gaming with Griff Griffin. The first and most important thing you need to do to beat the Cathedral of Light is to rank up. Now you need to rank up to level 50. This is because every enemy in there is rank 50 minimum. Elsewhere in Diablo enemies scale to your level but here they are rank 50. So you can actually go into this Cathedral at any point. You could be level 40, 45 if you wanted. That's if you're really confident in your skills but getting to rank 50 just makes your life easier and it means there's less chance of getting frustrated. So first get to level 50, but what is the fastest way to do that? After you've beaten the campaign, the fastest way to level up is with the Tree of Whispers. Every time you bring the tree 10 Grim Favours, it gives you 70,000 XP, which is massive. It's undoubtedly the best way to rank up. Compare this to side quests, which get you about 10,000 XP, and there really isn't anything that compares to the Tree of Whispers in terms of XP gains. Now to get 10 Grim Favours, the most optimal way is to complete two of these dungeons. They award five Grim Favors each. So all we have to do is do two of them for 10 Grim Favors. To get extra experience on top, make sure to pop an elixir beforehand. You can have any elixir you want. They all give you 5% XP boost and these last for half an hour. Of course, you could do the shorter Tree of Whispers missions if you come across them as you know, you might as well do them if they're on your way to the dungeon. But by and large, you want to do the biggest Tree of Whispers quests and these are dungeons and when you do turn your quest in not only do you get experience which helps you take on the cathedral of light but a bunch of rare and legendary weapons as well and these tie in the next part of the video which is make sure you upgrade everything you have at least three times it really helps you to increase the attack and defense of your gear so visit a blacksmith and do that before you even think of heading into the cathedral of light remember that salvaging legendary weapons get you the resources needed to fully upgrade your other weapons so if there's a weapon you want to upgrade to its maximum salvage a legendary weapon first but here's the thing that's helped me most and that's something a lot of players just forget to do and that's completely respecking your character sometimes it will just be the case that you've allocated your skill points in maybe not the best way especially if this is your first time playing Diablo but there's usually a better way of using all those skill points a website that's helped me massively is icveins.com now this website I will show you where to put every single skill point in your character to make sure you're getting as much out of your class as possible. I used to run a barbarian that was a little all over the place but now I'm using a dedicated bleed build which is the one they recommend and it's honestly doubled my damage and defense. All of the abilities synergize and play off each other and there are so many boosts and buffs going on it's made higher world tiers much more manageable. So just have a look at the Icy Veins website for the ideal builds for your class. You could really use any website you want so you could just google best druid build or best sorcerer build and reallocate your skill points accordingly. Often completely redoing your character from scratch is the missing piece of the puzzle and it helps you take on those higher world tiers or in this case the cathedral of lights. And finally another way to ensure you're leveled enough to take on at the cathedral is to make sure you've leveled your renown. Every tier you get in renown gives you stuff that's really gonna help you. So things like 5,000 extra experience experience for every tier and also extra potion slots. Now the best way to get renown fast is by doing altars of Lilith. You get 10 renown for each altar you activate and there are dozens of altars in each area. I've got a video that I'm linking above to show you where to find all 28 altars in the Fractured Peaks area.
and getting all of these altars will give you two tiers of renown in this area. Each area has five tiers of renown, so I would recommend getting at least two tiers of renown in each area. Aside from the altars of Lilith, side missions are another good way of getting that renown up, and these don't take too long at all, so flick through your current renown in each area and see how far off each tier is. Then you can choose which tier to complete just to finish up that tier. So for instance, if you've got just 50 more renown to earn before you reach tier three, then finish that off to see your renown press M to bring up the map then press W. Going after all five tiers in every area takes a bit too long in my opinion so I wouldn't necessarily target that. Just get two or three tiers in each region then focus back on the tree whispers. Okay so let's say you're now level 50 and your weapons are upgraded to at least level three. You're almost ready to head into the cathedral of light but just before you take it on make sure to cross these things off your list. Slot the right gems into your gear. Now these really depend on your class so so for me, as a barbarian specializing in bleed, I want to slot in sapphires on my weapons for critical strike damage, sapphires on my armor for damage reduction, and skulls on my jewelry for extra armor. But that's just my barbarian though. Have a look at what gems will benefit your class because it really does make a difference. Also remember about your aspects. You can go to the occult vendor here and either slot in any aspects you have into your weapons or armor, or remove an aspect and then put it on another weapon or armor or jewelry that you have. Do not sleep on the aspects. They add a little extra something to your build. Okay, so just to go over exactly what you need to do in order to complete the Cathedral of Light in the fastest time possible, number one is to level up. You need to reach a recommended rank of rank 50 minimum before you take this on. To level up, do the Tree of Whispers missions and get your renown up. Number two, reallocate all of your skill points. Just try a new build because maybe it's your current build that's holding you back. Number three is to upgrade all of your items in including jewelry, do not forget the jewelry, and number four is to use an elixir. Do all of these and you'll for sure be ready to take on the challenge of the Cathedral of Light. And after that, you can unlock World Tier 3. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. For more Diablo 4 guides, subscribe to the channel. And also I've got a Patreon, so sponsor me on Patreon and help keep this channel going. Not ready yet. Oh, my God. 